right, so. And then sport. All right, now we're in sport. I like the heads up display right here. It's too. sick, yeah. It's All really right. good. So this isn't all electric. This isn't all electric. It's a hybrid. Hybrid. Yeah. Mm, that's a crazy little back seat. Yeah, something small. Oh, some of it's yeah. not real sound? It sounds natural, right? Yeah, it the does sound natural. The first time I got in it, I was like, this is impressive. I thought it was, I thought it sounded pretty good. So once you get on a straightaway, you can click on one of the paddles, and then your heads up display will change into uh, the manual mode. Oh, yeah. I see the heads up display there. It lags a little during with the with the paddle shifters. It's definitely not the fastest. I feel like the paddle shifter is kind of weak on this one. You can tell it's it's some dated technology. This is as good as it gets for the eight though. This is the 2019, so I believe this is the last year of production. I give the i8 a, I give it a 7 out of 10. I think that's accurate. I give it a 7 out of 10. I think it's accurate. It's not the fastest. The, the appeal of it, like the doors, the look, the design, the styling, like they're definitely ahead of their time, I think. I mean, yeah, 2019, this was definitely, I feel Yeah, like. I mean, especially even like, cause they, I think the first model year was like 2014. So for 2014, 2015, 20, like that's pretty ahead of its time. I think if they bring it back, That's what I feel like it does lack a little bit, like the power on the power. Yeah, you just expect more out of like yeah. kind of the exotic look of it. We have to remember it's not the newest. 
and we're putting it on, we're putting it up against like, you know, Teslas and stuff yeah. like that, where you expect the world. Especially like when it first released though, this is, they, I mean, they did a pretty good job on it. Definitely, I think it's ahead of its time. I love the design, the, the cockpit's pretty insane with the lighting. Change the lighting. It's a nice, smooth, quick delivery of power, but yeah. it's nothing like, you know, it's not McLaren. Exactly. But the doors, the doors are sick. Yeah, doors you can't are go wrong with butterfly yeah. doors. You're almost better off in automatic. Probably, you know, because I tried playing with it. Yeah, let me try auto. Yeah. I feel like the computer makes the shifts the most efficient. Even when I'm really trying to like get the most out of the band, uh, I feel like the computer's still kicking my ass, <laughs> you know? That's what I feel like. These paddle shifters, they could have done a better job yeah. with the paddle shifters. Yeah. It's more for the novelty of it. And they're real small on it too. Yeah, they're tiny. Definitely have to do the the R8 next. Definitely the R8. That R8 would be crazy. Would be a different yeah. <laughs> that would have been, been crazy. R8 that would have been, been crazy. insane. But it'll be better when we got some daylight. See, I feel like that's a little bit more back in the seat yeah. than you could with manual mode. I like how the brakes feel too. Brakes feel pretty good. Nice and smooth, yeah. So this is all-wheel drive? All-wheel drive. Okay. Is it? I, I think so. I might, have to, I might have to confirm that. Let's see. Kind of similar to a Tesla. 